to helping others in the foster care system, tragically shot and killed. Thanks for joining us for the news at 11 o'clock. I'm Chris Fry. Our Caitlin McCarthy is live tonight. And Caitlin, you spoke with loved ones who were obviously still in shock. You also spoke to someone who was very close to her. What did that person have to say? Chris, so many people who love this woman came together today for her celebration of life. Cleveland police tell me she was fatally shot a week ago, just days before her birthday. And her boyfriend tells me she's remembered for the positive impact she had on so many others. She actually wanted to help the world, specifically aged out foster care youth. That was her, her everything. A life dedicated to helping others. Rufus Hill says his girlfriend Alexis Smith navigated the challenges of growing up in the foster care system. He says she shared her story on her podcast, Talk It Out, and advocated for those aging out of the system. Because you grow up in foster care and you don't really have like suitable parents to really guide you through life. On March 4th, just two days before her 31st birthday, Smith's life was tragically taken. Cleveland police say Smith was shot following an altercation with a 33-year-old woman. Investigators say it happened in a parking lot in Fidelity Avenue on the city's west side. I ended up getting the call that she had been shot. I called my, 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 my homie, my friend. He took me to the hospital. And um, while at the hospital, that's when we got the news that she had passed. And it just, it broke me in half. Hill says Smith had so many dreams for the future. He hopes her work will inspire others to help those going through the foster care system. We need people to get involved. We need people to become um, adopted, you know, parent, adopted parents, foster parents, even if you just went and tried to work in the system. Like, we need people that actually care to get involved. And Cleveland police tells me that 33 year old woman has been arrested and charges are still pending in this case. Reporting live in downtown Cleveland, Caitlin McCarthy, 19 News.